this three D um frame system of curtain was is created by Autodesk in winter using a frame generator and um, also create parts and then we assemble together uh, I create the slip anchors on top and bottom also uh, because this frame is uh, it's a little complicated. You can see the green, the uh, the blue tube is eight and quarter. This is slip anchors. We're trying to uh, insert into the top tube. It was eight and a quarter inches corner system. We use a um, mate of we we use that made of the part and to to assemble together so we'll let the an slip anchors side uh, the end to flush to the tube of inside the tube face We have to make sure that the uh, um, slip anchors, uh, each face uh, fits inside of the tube. You also see the top slip anchors, they have one inch deflection gap between the tube and uh, and the slip anchors the red one red frames is is seven degrees leaned out and uh, also in the frames is is different because verticals we use eight and a quarter inches and horizontal use five and quarters also the red tube is twisted nose custom made custom die from cornea so the top slip anchors will have to fit the, it, it's button at uh, that at the top and this button the one side has to the, the slip anchors has to fit the five quarters of the face of the tube and also at the back we have to fit the eight and quarters inside of the tube so that two that um anchors it looks like uh, is is on it's the bottom is not on top because you see the slip anchors stick out you see this one the stick out so we have to um deconstrain So then we can insert at the top, at the bottom of the tube. Right now we're just just trying to deconstrain. So the delete the the, the constraint conditions and uh, then we'll move to to the to the bottom for the bottom anchors. You can see the degree of freedom is three dimensions right now. So you we can move the top slip anchors that is supposed to be the bottom slip anchors, not the top, because uh, the the angles are just reversed.
So in this slip anchors is free move and uh, we can rotate, we can move. So then we can place this this anchors to the bottom of the tube. The face of the anchor has to, to flush to the bottom of the vertical molding cut up. Then we have to make sure three dimensions uh, constraint. Let's one dimension constraint vertically. We have to make sure that um, face of the anchor flush to the internal tube wall. So right now we have two dimensions constraint. Now the whole last one, which is which is the side wall of the tube has to mate together too which which is we use flush function you see that so the so offset is a way how to flush to the inside of the tube wall. Right now, it it, it, it is good. So this one is the same situation. We just uh, uh, just insert of the tube of its button. But the, but the top uh, the top anchor slip anchors. Because the angles are uh, some deep is lean out, so the bottom angles will be the uh, the the degrees will be reversed. So we have to modify the existing these angles to 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 be um fit on top moldings. You see the angles that one is ninety seven and as eighty three, which is seven degrees of tube lean out. So we have to change the degrees and make sure that the angles lean out to to the other way.